Uh, good everyone, my name is Graphics. Today we'll be solving this circuit problem using superposition theorem. Now, one of the rules of superposition is that we want to know the effect of each source in the circuit, right? So we have to short circuit all the sources of current or voltage source in the circuit just leave one open and you leave one in charge what i mean is this now in this case here now we are going to short circuit short circuit right the 15 volt voltage source and open circuit the 5 ampere current source 5 ampere current source right so in doing that, we we'll have this. Now this is what we'll be having. I short circuit the 15 volt source. That means I replace the element here with a wire. And since the current source, the reason I can do here is to open circuit. So we do open circuit a current source. Then we short circuit. A voltage source. Now I'm allowing only this um, 24 volts to be supplying the circuit current. So this will be coming this way. This will be coming this way. That will be I2, and this will be going this way. Sorry. This will be going this way. And that will be what? I3, right? Going this direction. Now let's start. Now the way it is this way now, since I've open circuit, this current cannot flow through this area here, cannot flow here because I've already open circuit. The current will be moving in this direction. So you see that the 4 ohm resistor and the 7 ohm resistor are in what? Series. So what I've done here, if I want to redraw it, I'll be having something like this. Like this. And I will drain it, drain it this way. This is my resistor here. So, seven ohms, I mean four ohms, and seven ohms. So they are in series, the same current will be flowing through them. Whether I draw it like this or I draw it like this. Since I've open circuits, this current cannot flow. So you now write that. The four ohms and seven ohms. Resistor are uh, in series and in series, right? So I'll be having my R equivalent to be equals to four plus what seven, and this will give me eleven hopes. Right, so we know that our V is equals to what I R according to what Ohm's law. Right, and our I will be equal to what V over R. So if I want to know the current flowing through, so my I one, which will be like my I total, will now be equals to what. V is what 24 over what 11 and that will give me that's going to give me 24 divided by 11 24 divided by 11 that will give me 2.18 ampere so that will be my current here right now that is not all we'll move further 
to calculate for the next one now since i have short circuit the 24 volts i will consider i should say the 15 volt now i will not do that for 24 volts so i'm going to short circuit the 24 volts voltage source and open circuit the 5 o amperes current source so this is what I'll be having now doing it this way we have short circuit the 24 volt source open circuit the 5 amperes current source and we're only leaving the 15 volts source to function right so still the same way the current will be coming this direction and that will still be my i3 will change direction because this guy will be supplying to this side and then the i12 will be equal to what the i3 here because it's flowing around right but current will not flow through here because i've opened the wire here the circuit here right there's an open circuit here so no current will flow through here so it means that the um, the four ohms the four ohms and seven ohms resistor are in series right so our r equivalent will be equals to what still four plus seven so the arrow equivalent the arrow equivalent will be equals to 11 ohms right so according to ohms law v is equals to i r which is our ohms law all right so and um, our i will be equal to what v over r now the i here will be i3 which is equal to i total right and that will give me the v what is v 15 over what 11 and that will give me 15 over 11 15 divided by 11 that will give me 1.36 1.36 ampere now the first guy here will be for this this will be a uh, prime right then for this this will be prime prime so from here we've done this so the next thing we'll do is to short circuit both the, f the 24 volts and we shall circuit what both the 24 volts and 15 volts we shall help both of them and leave this operating so that is our next step so this is what i'm talking about now i have short circuit the 24 volts and 15 volt voltage source i replace them with the wire while i only leave the 5 amp current source to what to be in operation now when this guy moves so the co the current here is i2 to be going the direction then to split at this instant here here will be the i3 and this point will be i1 right so if you look at this very well the i total here i total I'll call it I total, which is equals to what? I2, and that is prime, 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 right? Just to differentiate them, is equals to what? 5 ampere, right? Now, when it gets to this junction here, it splits. So there is a, there is a split at this junction. So it means the 7 ohms and the 4 ohms are in parallel right so you say since you say your arrow your your arrow a is equals to what 
7 parallel to what? 4. So that means that my arrow A is equal to what? 7 times 4 all over what? 7 plus 4. Right? And that will be my arrow A will now give me 7 times 4 is um, 28. 7 plus 4 is 11. Right? So 28 over 11. 28 divided by 11 will be 2.55. So we have 2.55. 2.55 ohms right now if we have it that way it's now in series with what 6 it's in series with 6 right so what I meant is this if I am to withdraw I will have something like this this is what we are talking about this is our arrow A here so when we calculate them in parallel we we'll make this true they become these two resistors now become one so it's now in series with six so you can now write that our r equivalent will give us r a plus what six in brackets are in series <coughs> so they are what they are in series so my r equivalent will now give me 2.55 plus 6 so arrow equivalent arrow equivalent will give us 8.55 ohms that's my arrow equivalent now we want to know these two currents that is entering arrow 7 and the one that is entering arrow uh, that is entering um, the 4 ohm resistor so let's see so calculating calculating for i1 and i3 so we use current divider row using current divider rule right so now from here now, I want to calculate for the I1 and I3 using current divider rule. So we we'll say I1 equals to. Now, if you come to this point here, this arrow is equals to 7 times 4 over 7 plus 4. That is when they're in parallel. So if I write my I1, I'm going to remove the resistor my I1 is flowing through. Which resistor my I1 is flowing through? It is flowing through the 4 ohm resistor. So when I'm writing this, I'm not going to write the 4 anymore here. Right? I won't write this 4. I'll just write I total. Right? So all over I all over 7 plus what? 4. So the reason I'm not writing the 4 here, this 4, because of what? The I1 is flowing through the 4. That is this I1 is flowing through the 4. That is why I am not writing that. So we move forward. Now, what is the I total? The I total here, in this case, is given as what? 5 ampere. So, I'm going to come. This will be I prime, prime, prime. So, my I1 will now give me 7 times 5 all over 7 plus 4, which is 11. Now, 7 times 5 is giving us 35 over what 11 so 35 over 11 that give me um, I1 to be equals to what 3.182 ampere so this will give us prime 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 because we are dealing with the third part of it here so this is my I1 prime 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 now we've got an I1 the next thing that we'll calculate for will be we've we'll done for I1, the next thing we'll be doing will be what I3, right? So I3 and it will be prime 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 is equals to 
and you look at where i3 is actually flowing through if you look at this i3 is flowing through seven so that means you are going to remove seven from this so we'll be writing the current divider will be i3 i total prime 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 mm. um multiply by four all over seven plus four because that what you do you are going to remove since it's flowing through seven you remove seven here right you leave the four and the rest so you replace this over with the i total now from here we move forward and moving forward here we'll be having this now so my i3 will now give me my i total is 5 amp a multiplied by 4 all over 7 plus 4 so and this will give me 20 all over what um 11 and 20 divided by 11 my i3 prime 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 will now give me 1.818 ampere so that will be my i3 prime so this is how you solve your questions and most times you might have more than four source five source so that's how you'll be going about them you should check you will be taking one at a time so thanks for watching we'll meet in our next video god bless